There we are. And all these nice people here. Yeah. All the coppers. The thin red line. Have a live rat. What's the problem? Yeah, that's a pet rat. They're very friendly pet rats. Probably you don't have a cat. I think that we can take this this bunch of people down, and I still believe we can. I agree with Jonathan that actually probably none of these things will be built because I don't think there's enough money to build them. And I think that all of this kerfuffle about building them and and digging the earth up and making it look like something is happening is it is in order to keep uranium prices high because a lot of people have invested vast amounts of money in uranium and so if suddenly there was going to be no nuclear future it would all turn to sand all the uranium would turn to sand and they would lose all their money so i think a lot of it is about that now as you probably know and, and if you don't well i'm telling you the way in which i have been taking these people on for the last 20 years is through the health effects 
because actually the science of the health effects is pretty sound now. We have now got enough scientists who have been able to make epidemiological studies after Chernobyl and in, in all parts of Europe and in various other places in Iraq and so on, which show that the health effects that occur as a result of the operation, the normal operation of these places, are profoundly uh, serious. And in fact, uh, the, the German government, as, you, as many of you will know, have financed studies into the German reactors which show that there are significant excesses of child leukemia around the, the German plants, but of course around every other plant as well, and certainly around this plant, because uh, camera, there, there was a, a study done in the 80s, I think, of this plant that showed that there was a uh, child leukemia um, uh, excess around this plant as well. And, and as you know, I've studied the, the health effects in burnham on sea which is downwind from here. We now have various committees in Europe which, uh, like the European Committee on Radiation Risk, but we now have a new committee in Belarus and Lithuania of eminent scientists who have been able to say and who are writing to say that the, the health effects model which currently uh, permits the operation of these plants is just completely wrong. And this is now, this is now being discussed at the highest level and in Sweden, where I do a lot of work, the International Commission on Radiological Protection, who were the original basis for the, uh, the risk model under which these, these places operate, they've pulled out of Sweden now and moved to Canada. So we've chased them out of Sweden, and the, the, uh, the secretary of the, of the ICRP resigned and has retired now. So we're winning that battle. I mean, let, don't let anybody tell you, and don't listen to people like Mombia, who really know nothing at all about this. <laughs> I mean, these people are, are ignorant. They're ignorant. They're not scientists, and, and they, push the, they push this idea that nuclear is safe. But I can tell you what will happen for sure in the next five years is that there will be enormous increases in, in, health, in ill health in Japan. And it will be not possible to cover that up as it was possible to cover up the ill health increases in the ex-Soviet Union territories. Because there are too many people involved now in Japan, and there are too many people on the internet, and there are too many people that have Geiger counters, and there are too many people who are just sufficiently switched on to make it totally impossible for these nuclear industry stooges and all their bought and sold dishonest scientists continue to say that there are no problems associated with exposures to these levels of radiation. So in the next five years, before they even will get anywhere near building a new nuclear power station here, the health effects problem will become so acute and so obvious that it will become quite clear that it's impossible for them to, to build these places with, with, with the agreement of the people who live nearby, the people who are affected by this. Now what I'm going to do about this I have to tell you another thing, is that I, I, I have been fighting these people here, EDF, over the contamination of this land. I mean, where you are standing now, if you have a Geiger counter, you can take it out and it will tell you that the radioactivity here, the, the gamma dose rate here is between 150 and 200 nanosieverts per hour. Now, on the basis of National Radiological Protection Board figures and figures relating to the measurements that were made here, in 1993, that's about twice as much radioactivity as there should be. And the reason for that is contamination of this site by, by uranium and a number of other isotopes. Now, we had a big fight with, with um, the Environment Agency over this. Cecily Collingridge and I did a study about a year ago in which we said that using their own figures, the levels of uranium on the site here, and it was slightly enriched uranium, were too high. And so there was a lot of toing and froing and arguing and so forth. And they took some samples and they went off and measured them. But what we did was my daughter here, as she is with the, with the, with the, uh, with the camera, we came along here uh, in January of last year and it was bloody freezing, I can tell you. We came so, you know, we probably lost several years of our life stomping over here in about minus goodness knows what. And we took samples here and we made measurements here. And we found that the levels of radioactivity were too high. And more recently, we've taken some samples here, or rather, Stop Pinkley has taken some samples, and we've sent them off to the laboratories to have them tested. And what they show is that there is enriched uranium here, and that the levels of uranium are too high. So there's no argument about this. The Environment Agency are either lying, or they're stupid, or they're biased, or whatever. So next week, we'll be producing a report and releasing this report and putting it on the internet and so on that will say all of this, and we will challenge them to come back here and to, and to do a proper reappreciation of the site here so that they have to dig it up again and dig it up. But in case
in case they don't, we'll be petitioning the European Parliament. There are lots of legal things that we can do. I mean, the problem with anti-nuclear people is they always think that all they can do is they can have demos and, 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 and wave flags and sit outside power stations. But there actually are some legal, th legal moves that can be made against these people under international human rights legislation. And so everybody uh, who is a member of this country or any country in Europe has the right to petition the European Parliament on any issue which relates to the health or any other any other aspect of, the, of, the, of that person. Okay, so what we, what we have done is we've produced a template petition to the European Parliament and we've produced it in Sweden and also in Lithuania where we have a committee and I'll be asking Scott Pinkley to ensure that anybody can get hold of this thing and then you can just sign this petition and you can send it to the Petitions Committee of the European Parliament and they have a Petitions Committee which has to deal with it. Now the petition will be about this. But under the 9629 Euratom Directive, which is, the, which is the, the basic safety standards directive that these people have to operate under the umbrella of in Europe, there is a clause that was put in there by the Green Party, the Irish Green Party in 1997, when we were talking to them about this, and they managed to get this clause in. The clause says that if there are any new pieces of evidence that emerge relating to the health effects of radiation, then they have to renew their justification of all existing practices. Okay? Now, an existing practice is, is just existing here. So Hinkley Point has to re-justify its existence, and the possibility of building a new nuclear power station also has to be re-justified because of the new evidence which has emerged that says that these radionuclides are, are, are much more dangerous than people thought. So that's something that can actually be done, and it's not difficult. And if we all in Europe blag the European Parliament at the same time through the Petitions Committee, they have to do something. Okay? So there's a spanner that we can put on and turn. Thank you very much. Brighter than the thousand suns, you see.